One of the biggest piano rock songs in all time is definitely November Rain by Guns N' Roses. That song is such an iconic song that everyone knows what you're playing the minute you play the first two notes. So in this video, I'll show you how to play this legendary piano intro. And if you'd like to have the sheet music of the intro, you can download this for free down below in the description. All right, so the original key for this song is in B major. So let's take a look at the chords we're gonna need for this intro. So we're gonna have an E major. So E major is gonna be E, G sharp, and B. We're gonna have a G sharp minor slash D sharp on the bottom. So it's G sharp, B, and D sharp, and D sharp right here, all right? We also have a C sharp minor. So it's C sharp, E, and G sharp, we have a B major, so it's B, D sharp, and F sharp, and we also have a B major slash D sharp on the bottom. Amazing, so let's dive in and see how we can play this intro. So we're gonna start with the left hand right here with the beautiful octaves of E. So it's gonna be down here, and the right hand is gonna go all the way to the top here. We're also gonna be playing an octave of E, but we're gonna be adding a grace note of D sharp, like this. So you really wanna have like this four finger here, playing this, like that. So this is like the first bar. So you wanna hold this, and then whenever you're ready, you can go and play the octave on the top here. So this is very rubato, so there's no really a tempo for that first bar. Then we start into the intro. So we're gonna start on an E major chord, and this is going to be a chord inversion on the right hand, so it's B, E, and G sharp, and we have an octave of E on the bottom right here, all right? So that's quite a note. Then the left hand keeps it, and the right hand is going to go E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B, like this, so. And this one is longer than the other one because this one is a quarter note. note. We move on to G sharp minor slash D sharp. So for this one, again, a chord inversion, B, D sharp, and uh, D sharp on the top, and D sharp on the bottom, like this. Then we need to be playing 60 notes, so we can start with the thumb on D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and we go to eight notes here, down. So it's like, like this. So. One, two, three, four, like that. Let's move on to C sharp minor. So C sharp minor, pretty cool. This one is in root position. So we have the chord and then we're gonna be using the note of the scale to move like this, to create this cool movement in the accompaniment. So it's like C sharp and E, C sharp and F sharp, C sharp and G sharp, and we go down like that. The left hand though is gonna go with a dotted half note. So we have one, two, and three, and quarter notes, and then the right hand. All right, so it's like. And moving on to B. All right, now for B major, we're gonna have B and D, and the octaves of B, on the bottom here so in the whole song basically the left hand is usually doing like whole notes we have a little bit of rhythm at some places but the left hand is pretty simple here so we have B and D sharp going to F sharp and then again we're kind of moving on the scale on the notes of the chord like this to create this cool movement so we have this now for the next bar in E so this is where we're gonna have some uh, rhythm on the left hand because we're gonna alternate between the right hand and the left hand that's a pretty cool campaign that you can use so the right hand is only going in quarter notes like this so we have B E and G sharp twice then moving with the A sharp on the top and then the B on the top right here. All right, so one, two, three, four, like this. And with the left hand, so we have 
One, two, and three, and four, and like that. So it's really alternating both hands. Back to C sharp minor. This one, the left hand's gonna start, and then on the right hand, we're gonna have the 16th note. So it's gonna be C sharp, D sharp, E, F, and then back in eighth note, like this. So one, just like that, for a B this time. So we have B and D sharp, and you have half note here. So it's gonna be like to F sharp, B, F sharp, that is tied to the next one, D sharp, F sharp, going to C sharp. So we have left hand, like that. One more time. So the next one is B again, so we play the octaves right here, D sharp, B, and we also have this alternating pattern on the left hand that we're going to be playing. So D sharp, B, B on the bottom, C sharp on the bottom, D sharp on the bottom, and moving to right here to A. All right, so this one. Back to E major, so we have B, E, and G sharp. And we're gonna go with the 16th note. So it's E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, A sharp, like this. All right, so this one is a B major slash D sharp. So we need to have the D sharp on the bottom and we have B and F sharp on the top here. We're gonna move to this one, D sharp and A sharp, D sharp and G sharp. So, so it's one, two, and three, and four, and. So we're going back, moving on the scale basically. So F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, and C sharp minor. So this one is one, again, moving on the scale like this. So. We have the root chord here, the root triad chord. So C sharp, E, and G sharp. The octaves on the left. And then we have these two notes. This one. You can either play this one or the full chord if you like. C sharp and F. The octaves on the bottom. And this one, th these are the two 16th note we're gonna add here. So it's C sharp and E going to D sharp. All right, let's recap that bar. So one, two, and three, and and we're back down here. So all right, so B major now, almost at the end. So we have B and D sharp, F. Let's play the full chord here of B. So we have B, D sharp, F sharp, and B on the top. Just the first triad here, and we have octave of B, going to be an F, moving to B and C sharp and the octaves. All right, so this one is one and two and three and four and one. And here we're gonna alternate. So one and two and three, B and C sharp, and back to D sharp. Right here. So what it's really cool about this one is like we're actually going from the B major to the B sus two, back to B major, and that is great for creating movement in a pop or rock song, something that you can do. And basically going there. All right. So this is how you play this introduction. So I'm gonna start back at the beginning just to show you more with some tempo how it sounds like. All right. So we're back at the top, and we're gonna start with the octaves here. Don't forget to add the sustain pedal. It's really helpful for this. And now we start on E. Up and C sharp minor.
triad right here, F sharp, B, and C sharp, like that. There you go, now you can have fun with the introduction of November Rain by Guns N' Roses. So please drop a comment below and let me know what song you would like me to do next. And by the way, if you haven't done it already, don't forget to download the free sheet music for the introduction of this song down below in the description. Alright, bye for now!